on CFC TV. We're joined by Joe Deere, one of uh, the club's five rookies for 2010. Joe, welcome to Carlton. How have you uh, found the place? What are the first impressions? Um, oh, first of all, it's it's pretty exciting to, to get down the AFL club, I suppose. But um, you know, first impressions on Carlton, you, you're pretty aware that um, a bit of a powerhouse club in the AFL and that sort of thing. So, um, but yeah. As most most footy clubs, great bunch of blokes and get pretty well looked after um, at the minute. So, no, pretty wrapped to be here. So. Can you tell us a little bit about your football uh, career so far? Um, uh, how you fared individually and, and team-wise? Yep. Um, well, uh, I was just listening to Simon White and he said a um, bit of a late developer and a similar case myself. Um, <clears throat> like uh, under 15s, under 16s, maybe third smallest in my team and. And, and real light on, um, on lot, real light frame, and um, sort of gr grew a fair bit um, at the eight, like 17 sort of thing, bottom age under 18s, and played in for the Falcons in the TAC Cup uh, this year, and and had it was part of a uh, pretty successful team. We only lost uh, one game during the home and away season by one point, but unfortunately we we got rolled in the finals and, and didn't even make the grand final. But um, to be part of a, a successful team and and have good players around you, it sort of sort of gives you a, a bit more of an opportunity and, and a bit more exposure, I suppose, to, to the bikes watching. But um, so I was, I was I was pretty lucky in that regard and sort of you know had a couple a couple of reasonable games and and was lucky enough to get picked up by Carlton. So um, end of the day, pretty wrapped. Are you happy with the fact that you are remaining in Victoria? Was it somewhat an intimidating prospect to have to go into state? Yeah, well. Um, He's got a family of four boy, four brothers and mum and dad and pretty pretty close sort of family and um, on a, on a dairy farm near Coax so and and I love the farm so it, it was uh, a bit daunting coming up to draft day and then the rookie draft um, knowing you you're a bit of a chance and um, and the fact that you might be bloody thousands of miles away sort of thing and um, but yeah as I said like. This is this is about the best case scenario, other than Geelong to be to be uh, in in that regard, missing home. But I'll sleep home most weekends. It's only two hours away, so sleep home after Saturday morning training and, and catch up with the family and, and the farm sort of thing. And so, as as you said, it, it was it was a bit of an issue, but um, I've settled in nice. And um, Carlton Footy Club have been heaps of support, so it's been good. And the club's obviously uh, secured another player from down your way, um, a big Lockie Henderson. Um, did you know Lockie from back home? Uh, not personally, but um, know his family. Um, his old man's a, a vet and we're, we're dairy farmers, so he's, he's our vet and we, we get along with him pretty well. And um, But we always followed him through the Falcons. He went through the Falcons like I did and he went through with my older brother, so um, Levi knows him and but yeah, I caught up with him here, so no, he, he seems to be settling in all right. And uh, no, it's good, good to have somebody else close, close from home, sort of share a couple of stories. But um, no, good fella. And uh, you mentioned, you know, the attachment with home in Colac. Are you uh, at the moment uh, set up in Melbourne, build it out to a family? What's your arrangement there? Set up uh, Nan and Pa. Uh, fortunately, live in Port Melbourne, um, so uh, I've just slotted in there pretty nice and. And, and um, they're pretty wrapped to have me too, I think. So um, they've been a great help, um, just uh, with, with me diet and, and all cooking sort of thing. And um, yeah, just just it's 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 good to be able to go home from training and 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 just relax and not have to worry about cooking tea or or washing your clothes and that sort of thing. Just just to start with, because it's a pretty pretty big load at the minute, and um, you, you're pretty tired when you get home. And, the last thing you want to do is wash dishes or something like that, but um, eventually I'll get used to it and, and, and become a bit more independent, but at, at the minute, just at Port Melbourne with my own pass, so it's um, bloody handy. And you're a long way, I guess, in some respects from the old uh, the paddocks at Colac. What are your impressions of the uh, the facility and, and, and the ground? Well, we rocked up um, the week before um, week before the Christmas break and we're in the, the old facilities, they said, and I was pretty impressed with those facilities, so these ones are bloody, they blow your mind sort of thing, but um, no, I think, I think we're just, just a bunch of lucky bikes.
for sure. And just a final one, you, your own um, uh, expectations for 2010, what might they be, Joe? Um, obviously, um, <laughs> no, you, you've got to be pretty optimistic, but um, obviously hope for, the, hope for the best, but I'm um, quite happy to be um, part of the Bull Ants to start with, and, and, and I wouldn't be complaining if I played the VFL the whole year and, and just um, got settled in and um, had a good year and, and enjoyed my footy. So um, obviously just the goal to just enjoy my footy where, wherever it may be and um, maybe string together a couple of good games. But um, yeah, more, more than happy to, to play wherever the club, club wants me to play. Good on you, Joe. Nice to hear. All the best for 2010, and uh, we'll look out for you on the on the track out this paddock here. All right, thanks, Tony.